Good evening, everyone. Good evening and welcome to an outstanding evening where we will be recognizing exceptional students from our schools. My name is Jeff Marr and it is my pleasure to welcome you to tonight's event. We will begin tonight with the Pledge of Allegiance followed by our national anthem led by students from Leonard Towns, Bella Voce. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wow, what a wonderful way to start tonight's event. Let's give Bella Voce, led by Kylie Oosterink, the musical director here at Leonardtown, a round of applause. Thank you, ladies. Well, thank you to all of the staff, families, and community members who have come together to celebrate our students. We are joined by many people here who have come together to applaud Please stand as I introduce you. Members of the Board of Education, Ms. Karen Bailey, Chairman. Ms. Kathy Allen, Vice Chair. Ms. Mary Washington, Board Member. Ms. Lake Meadows, Student Member of the Board. And Dr. Scott Smith, our Superintendent. Our Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Maureen Montgomery. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Finance and Human Resources, Ms. Tammy McCourt. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Supporting Services, Dr. Jeff Walker. <laughs> we are also joined by many principals, directors, assistant principals, and supervisors who have joined to celebrate our students' accomplishments. Please stand and be recognized. I also want to give a special thank you to Ms. Mills and the staff here at Leonardtown High School for hosting this evening's event. We are streaming tonight's ceremony live on our school system website, and it will be posted on our YouTube channel as well. And I want to thank the team at the Department of Strategic Planning and Communications, as well as the students in the Forest Center's video production program for making this possible. Students, we come to work every day because of you. So it is very special tonight that we get to recognize you and your accomplishments. Ladies and gentlemen, these students truly represent the best of the best. These teams, ensembles, and individuals are being recognized for their accomplishments at the regional, 
state, or national level. Students, we celebrate you and we applaud you. Let's give them all a round of applause. As I said, parents, guardians, family members, teachers, and friends, thank you for being here this evening. As you can see from the program, there are a number of students who are being recognized. And we should end the program by 7.15 this evening. To kick off tonight's recognitions, it is very appropriate that our student member of the board, Ms. Lake Meadows, will bring remarks on behalf of the Board of Education. Lake? Good evening, SMCPS students, staff, and parents. My name is Lake Meadows, and I'm the current student member of the Board of Education. I have served on the board over the last academic year, attending board meetings, conferences, and student leadership programs, with the job of reflecting the student voice and perspective throughout all of St. Mary's County Public Schools. Tonight, I stand before you all on behalf of the Board of Education in celebration of everything you've accomplished this past year. While working on the board, I've had the opportunity to watch students pursue their passions. I've seen a little bit of everything from academics to sports, to student leadership, to volunteering. No matter where I turn, I'm guaranteed to find greatness and I'm guaranteed to find students excelling in what they do. However, with this greatness, many times it can come at a price. Students, I believe the greatest thing that comes unnoticed from your success stories are the obstacles you may have faced along the way. As kids, we really don't have much of a say in where our time goes. We've got school, sports, clubs, homework. That's not even counting the familiar obligations, balancing our social lives, and cramming in a little self-time at the end of the day. Oh, and if we're, really or if we're really, really lucky, we might be able to catch a few Zs before we have to wake up and do it all over again. Yet, somehow, you've all still managed to find the time to pursue your passions and perfect them to the very best of your abilities. Every single one of you is more than deserving of the awards that will be presented to you this evening. In the end, know that you've made your family, peers, and SMCPS extremely proud. Know that each and every one of you is something special. Know that these awards are merely bragging rights because the greatest reward will always be staying true to yourself and true to what you love. Know that your abilities are innately yours. And please, be sure to, cont to continue to carry the same drive and focus with you that led you here as you continue to journey throughout the rest of your lives. Continue to influence others. Keep amazing people with your talents. Never forget to keep making memories in between those moments. And most importantly, always pursue what you love. Again, congratulations on your accomplishments and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Well, thank you, Lake, and let me add that we are very proud of you, and congratulations to you, as Lake will be graduating in just a couple of short weeks. Well, tonight we will celebrate over 250 students for their accomplishments. In your program, these students are listed alphabetically under the program for which they are being recognized. As the supervisor of each program reads their name, they will also note the specific student's team or individual accomplishment. School teams or ensembles will be recognized as a group. Dr. Montgomery and Mrs. Bachner will be joining us in presenting these awards. So students, to help move things along, we ask that if you were in the next group, move to my right as the group before you is being called. So those being recognized, come forward to the stairs here, receive your award, then walk across the stage where you will um, be congratulated by Dr. Smith and board members, where the group will gather for a photo center stage. You will then leave the stage down the stairs and go back to the audience. In addition to the students being honored, we invite the school principal, assistant principal, team coach, or director to join for the group photo as well. So, you ready to get started? All right, we will begin with the recognition for the math challenge and then move through each set of the wards that are in the order listed in your program. So we have the elementary math challenge first and then the middle school math counts and so they could be gathering here on my right. So as we begin this recognition for the SMECO elementary math challenge, please hold your applause until the full group from this set of wards is read. So with that, Ms. Loker. Good evening. 
Um, each year, the Southern Maryland Electric Cooperative sponsors a math challenge during which fourth and fifth grade school teams from public and non-public schools compete in individual and team events. This year, the competition was held at Leonardtown Middle School on April 27th, and 250 students from 19 schools participated. This year's winners are fourth grade individual winners. Third place is Joshua Coleman from Evergreen Elementary School. <laughs> In second place, we have Everett Thompson from Benjamin Banneker Elementary School. And in first place, Zoriana Chorney from Leonardtown Elementary School. Congratulations. The top five individual scores from each team are combined with the team score for the team portion of the event to determine the winning teams. The fourth grade first place team was Evergreen Elementary School, coached by Kathy Novak. Come on up. Team members include Mariam Ahmed, Abigail Brewer, Colin Butram, Claire Clark, Joshua Coleman, Kaylin Enright, Dean Farmer III, and Alexandra McCooch Slyfeld. Um, I just wanted to note that Joshua Coleman high fived every single winner as they came through on the competition day. So, fifth place, individual winners. Third place is Kaylin Bell from White Marsh Elementary School. Second place is Jarison Tharp from Leonardtown Elementary School. And first place is Ethan Cosgrove from Leonardtown Elementary School. Congratulations. The fifth place, first place. Do we miss somebody? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then the fifth grade individual team um, was Leonardtown, I'm sorry, the fifth grade first place team was Leonardtown Elementary School, coached by Cheryl White. And their team included um, Ava Weller, Jarrison Tharp, Kendall Tharp, Ethan Cosgrove, Margaret Bile, Drew Anderson, Julia Lisa, and Carlin Skaggs. Congratulations. I'd like to introduce Mrs. Bridget Dunbar to introduce the Middle School Math Council Awards. Hello, please note that the district will be sharing files of all the photos taken tonight with the school principals. Good evening. SMECO also sponsors the Math Counts competition for Southern Maryland schools. Middle schools from Calvert, Charles, and St. Mary's participate in this event. Math Counts is a national competition, and this year more than 200 students from 21 Southern Maryland schools participated in the regional competition held at Calvert Middle School. 
The top five teams and top 10 students not on a winning team are eligible to compete at the statewide Math Counts competition at Johns Hopkins University. St. Mary's County sent two teams and six individual students to the state competition. The third place winning team from Leonardtown Middle School, coached by Katherine Smith, includes Avery Thompson, Chloe Hare, Mika Jones, and Benjamin Dodge. The fourth place winning team is from Spring Ridge Middle School, coached by Gary Robinson. Includes Rhea Sharma, Mark Howenstein, Veronica Zhao, and Peter Emhoff. Many of these students may be on their overnight end of year trip. <laughs> Next, I'd like to recognize our individual student mathletes that went on to states. Joseph Grossman from Leonardtown, coached by Katherine Smith. <laughs> Ivan Chu from Spring Ridge, coached by Gary Robinson. <laughs> Ashley Smalley and Harsha Manavanan from Esperanza, coached by Gabby Sivak. and Ethan Torgeson and William Lambert from Chesapeake Charter School, coached by Taryn Long. Please welcome Mr. Jason Hayes to pre present the STEM Awards. Good evening. The NCWIT Award for Aspirations in Computing, or AIC, honors women in grades 9 through 12 who are active and interested in computing and technology and encourages them to pursue their passions. Awards for AIC recipients are chosen for their demonstrated interest and achievements in computing, proven leadership ability, academic performance, and plans for post-secondary education. We have two Maryland recipients for this award, both from Great Mills High School, Maya Lee and Alana White. Our next awards go to our Destination Imagination teams. Destination Imagination is an exhilarating after-school activity in which students work in teams to solve mind-bending challenges and present their solutions at tournaments. Teams are tested to think on their feet, work collaboratively, and devise original solutions that satisfy the requirements of the challenges. Participants gain more than just basic knowledge and skills. They learn to unleash their imaginations and take unique approaches to problem solving. After winning competing at both the regional and state, two St. Mary's County Public Schools teams earned the right to compete at the Global Destination Imagination Tournament to be held in Kansas City, Missouri next week. Please join me in congratulating, first of all, the team from Great Mills Six Dimension team. This includes Sophie Dory, Jolie Ganzel, Drew Harney, Morgan Hunt, Olivia Mesmer, and Susan Rahman. 
and their team manager, Mary Beth Ganzel. Leonardtown Elementary's D Ice Ice Baby team includes Fiona Gill, Clara Hammett, Cameron Hirsch, Nicholas Hutchinson, Ruby Kirsch, Maddie Toma, and their team manager, Kathleen Hammett. Next, we will recognize the Stellar Explorers team. Stellar Explorers is an AFA program aimed at inspiring students to pursue education and careers in STEM fields using space system engineering as the means. The program provides a hands-on space design challenge involving all aspects of space systems development and operation with a spacecraft and payload focus. Of the original 216 teams from across the nation and two overseas locations, after four rounds of competition, the top 10 teams made it to the national finals. The Tashin Machine of Great Mills High School took second place at this national competition. This team, coached by Alan Skinner, included Clayton Crownover, Josh Hoffman, Alex Motamid, Finnegan O'Neill, Bradley Wolfrith, and Nick Zhao. Next, we recognize our science fair winners. For the science fair, SMCPS had 88 middle and high school students compete in the 58th annual science and engineering fair held on January 27th at Great Mills High School. 17 junior division and 20 senior division students earned spots in the Prince George's County Regional Science and Engineering Fair held on March 24th. Tonight, we recognize those students who placed first in their categories at the PG Science Fair, as well as grand award winners in both the junior and senior divisions. Additionally, please make sure you check out all of our first place projects, which are on display out in the lobby. In the junior division, in biomedical engineering, first place winner, Tyler Ludlow, Spring Ridge Middle School.
First place junior division, environmental engineering, Mary Kate Napini, Spring Ridge Middle School. In the junior division, first place in the category engineering mechanics, we have Camille Nelson. Camille was also the first place grand award winner in all of the junior division at the regional fair. First place junior division in material science goes to Christina Ray Chan, Spring Ridge Middle School. First place junior division, earth and environmental science went to Rhea Sharma, and she was also the second place grand award winner in all of the junior division at the regional fair. Congratulations to all junior division winners. In the senior division, in microbiology, first place went to Andrea Deton from Great Mills High School. First place in the en energy chemical division went to Ethan Ray, Great Mills High School. First place in biomedical engineering went to Bradley Beal from the Dr. James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center. And lastly, in the Energy Physical Senior Award Division, our first place winner was David Wolf from the Dr. James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center. I'd like to now introduce Dr. Andrew Roper, who will recognize awards in athletics. Good evening. Across three sports seasons, once the regular season is over, our high school student athletes have the opportunity of competing for both regional and state championships. So far this year, we are able to celebrate the following successes. In the fall in cross country, Nell Ray from Leonardtown High School was the 4A East Regional Cross Country Champion. Sorry. Yes. Uh, Zachary Wedding from Choptecon High School won the 2A, 3A South Regional Cross Country Individual Championship and was a member of the winning championship team. Other members of the 2A, 3A South Regional Cross Country Championship team were Jeffrey Wedding, Nicholas Gagnon, Weston Van Erp, Douglas Hoover III, 
Blake Davis and Tyler Modrzejewski. Moving into the winter season in indoor track and field, Tyler, who is just up with us, Tyler Montrujewski <laughs> from Choptokan High School was the 3A indoor track and field state champion in the 500 meters. <laughs> Dylan McMahon from Choptokan was 3A indoor track and field state champion in the 800 meters. Choptokan also fielded a winning relay team that included Tyler, Dylan McMahon, Zachary Wedding, and Jeffrey Wedding. That was the 3A indoor track and field state champions, four by 800 meter relay team. Leonard, Leonardtown High School competed in a different classification during the winter. Their girls team in uh, track and field was 4A East Indoor State Track and Field Champions in the 4x800 meter relay. Team members were Christina Kolowick, Emily Snyder, Renee Nosko, and Nell Ray. Megan Owen from Leonardtown High School was the 4A East Indoor State Track and Field Champion in the 1600 meters. In wrestling, another winter sport, Ronald Kratko III from Choptokan High School was the 4A 3A South Regional Wrestling Champion at 113 pounds. Joining Ronald from Choptokan High School was Greg Griffith, 4A, 3A South Regional Wrestling Champion, 160 pounds. Okay. From Leonardtown High, Sean Vosberg was the 4A, 3A East Regional Wrestling Champion, 120 pounds. And Trevor Crowley from Leonardtown High was not only the 4A, 3A East Regional Wrestling Champion, but also the 4A, 3A Maryland State Wrestling Champion at 160 pounds.
And our final athletic recognition this evening uh, is another winter sport for swimming. And as you appreciate, uh, we're currently still in the spring season and, and moving through the final throws of the state competitions in, in our spring sports. But Zachary Klaus from Leonardtown High School was the 4A, 3A North swimming champion in the 200 medley, excuse me, 200 meter individual medley. I would now like to introduce Mr. Todd Burroughs, Supervisor of Instruction for Fine Arts. Good evening. Tonight, we recognize the students of the Great Mills and Chopsticon High School marching bands for earning the title of Group 1 and 2 Open Maryland State Champions, respectively, in the U.S. Band's Marching Band Competition Circuit. The U.S. Band's organization has been in existence since 1988, and its goal is to support the development of young people and to make human beings a participation in the arts. Earning the title of State Champions represents countless hours of perseverance, practice, and a dedication to excellence instilled in students through their incredible directors, Mr. Matthew Pearson and Ms. Brittany Lynn. First, please join me in welcoming and congratulating members of the Great Mills High School Marching Band.
All right, great job, Great Mills. Please also join me in welcoming and congratulating members of the Choptakan High School Marching Band. Tonight, we also recognize those students who were selected to participate in the 2019 Maryland All-State Performing Ensembles. Each November, students from all across the state of Maryland audition for a coveted spot in one of these groups. The audition for these ensembles is highly competitive, and the number of students selected from St. Mary's County is a testament to our students' musical talents and abilities. This year, we had students selected to participate in the All-State Senior Orchestra, All-State Senior Mixed Course, All-State Senior Trouble Course, All-State Junior Course, and Allstate Junior Band. We would like to recognize the following students. First, from Leonardtown Middle School, Alina Blodnicker, Junior Course. From Choptakan High School, William Jackson Alderman, Senior Orchestra, Carissa Crawford, Junior Course, Zoe Humphrey, Senior Course Alternate, Brianna Lemaris, Senior Trouble Course. From Great Mills High School, Jeremy Case, Senior Mixed Course, Lily Lawson, Junior Course, Alexandra Marks, Junior Course, Course, excuse me, Trish Pickering, Junior Course, and Tom Wilson, Junior Band.
All right, and from Leonardtown High School, Alexis Barton, senior mixed course, Kirsten Barton, senior orchestra alternate, Kelly Carpenter, senior treble course, Kate Cox, senior treble course, Bentley Dorix, senior treble course, Madeline Irwin, senior treble course, Casey Firm, senior orchestra, Catherine Frazier, senior treble course, Keelan Gaddis, senior mixed course, Julia Hancock, senior treble course, Matthew Howe, senior mixed course, Catherine Kinley, senior mixed course, Jacob Lyons, senior mixed course, Kelly Murph, senior mixed course, Tyler Payne, also senior mixed course, Pierre Petit Jean, senior orchestra, Cole Potus, senior mixed course, Connor Rock, junior course, Thomas Lessinger, senior mixed course, Andrew Tolarski, senior mixed course, and Katana Vandenboss, senior mixed course. All right, at this time, I would like to welcome Mr. Mike Boyle, our Career and Technology Supervisor. Good evening, it's my pleasure to present to you this evening a handful of our outstanding students in Career and Technology Education. This evening, CTE will recognize award-winning and national finalists from the state FBLA competition, as well as award-winning national finalists and elected state officials for the Skills USA. First, we would like to recognize the winners of the Cyber Patriot Challenge. The Cyber Patriot Challenge gives teams a set of virtual images that represents operating systems that are tasked with finding cybersecurity vulnerabilities and within those images, hardening those systems while maintaining critical services. Leonardtown High School team is finished third place in the Maryland Open Division, gold for the Cyber Patriot competition. The team is led by Gene Laufer and Megan Finn. The team is Zachary Cernes, Serenes, Annalee Hampton, Justin Geron, Alexis Paul, Kane Somerville, and Gregory Taich. Next, we'll recognize students who were state finalists for FBLA. At the State Leadership Conference, students completed in events testing their business knowledge and skills. Top state winners are then eligible to compete for national awards and at the National Leadership Conference each summer. This year, we had six students from Choptecon High School who were recognized as state finalists in these areas. FBA sponsor was Joey DeStefanis, Receiving third place in 3D animation was Samantha Ponsberry and Catherine Settle. <laughs> Receiving fourth place in economics, Tommy DeStefanis.
Receiving second place in word processing, Elizabeth Brown. <laughs> Receiving third place in word processing, Grace Wood. <laughs> and receiving fourth place in word processing is Kelsey Lalonde. <laughs> These students are all eligible for national competition this summer. Our next recognition is for Skills USA. Skills USA offers local, state, and national opportunities for students to learn and practice personal workplace and technical skills. These three components comprise of the US, Skills USA framework, a blueprint for career readiness. The Skills USA championships are competitive events showcasing the best performance in career and techno technological education. Contests begin locally and continue throughout the state and national levels. We had several students receive honors at the Maryland U.S. Skills Competition. Our US, Skills USA sponsors are Mary Thompson and Bonnie Skinners. Our third place in state winners are Audio Radio, Katrina Wolcock and Christina Davis. <laughs> Aviation, Vincent Dickerson. <laughs> Cybersecurity, Quinya Nave and David Marone. Team of Engineering Technology Design, Alyssa Nelson, Emily Fletcher, and Ashley Bias. <laughs> Principals of Engineering, Taya Gaines. <laughs> TV and Video Production, Justin Bowes and Annalise Wolford. Our second place recipients are Audio and Radio, Sarah Holmes and Catherine Motes. <laughs> Aviation, Michael Hall. <laughs> Basic Healthcare Skills, Elisa Dorsey. Broadcast news production team of Selena Slattery, Ben Kim, Ray Graham, and Noah Rigel. <laughs> Collision appraisal, Marquise Branson. Dental Assistant, Montserrat Brown Lian, First Aid, CPR, Brooke Gatton, Prepared Speech, Emily Nelson,
Principals of Engineering, George Rivers. And Telecommunicating Cabling, Tariq Thompson. That's all the seconds. Our first place winners and those that uh, have been invited to the Nationals are from Audio and Radio, Aiden Coletta, Victoria Brooks, those two, yeah. <laughs> Aviation, Ryan Bryant, <laughs> Medical Terminology, Ann Lee Johnson, Telecommunications Cabling, Hannah Verts. <laughs> Nursing Assistant, Madison McBride. Auto Refinishing, Caleb Hare. And Dental Assisting, Brittany DeWong. Our first place winners. In addition, we have students selected for the state national officers roles. We'd like to recognize Emily Nelson, Secretary of Maryland State Officers at the Skills USA State Championship. <laughs> Taya Gaines, reporter, Maryland State Officer at the Skills USA State Competition. <laughs> and Lindsay Fuller. The National Officer Candidate Endorsement at the Skills USA State Camp Competition. Next, I'd like to invite Dr. Montgomery to the present an award. Good evening. This award, sponsored by the St. Mary's County Commission for Women, honors an extraordinary young woman who has demonstrated an exceptional com commitment to community service. The student who earned this award this year is quite remarkable. She has an impressive academic record, which undoubtedly places a huge demand on her time and also demonstrates her superior drive and determination. Yet she created Sending Smiles, a philanthropy whose mission is to send a message of hope to sick children. 
Our award recipient is that rare young woman who has always recognized the importance of giving back to the community and found a way to put an idea into action. Sending Smiles has mailed over 40,000 cards to sick children across the United States. That type of commitment demonstrates more than just perseverance. It demonstrates who she is as a person. And Ashley Williams from Choptecon High School is the perfect candidate to receive the Tomorrow's Leader Award. In conclusion, I'd like to welcome Dr. Smith to, to the podium for concluding remarks. Thank you very much, Dr. Montgomery. I have about a seven page script to go through. <laughs> so we start early in May and one of the very first evenings that we were recognizing people, I talked about the fact that every minute in May is precious. You've got so many things going on as we have seniors taking exams or going up and competing regionally or getting ready for the next phase of their life or putting off till Friday, the last day for seniors, the things that necessarily need to be done. Um, so I've got about 15, 20 words here. And the words don't really do it. The words, words don't really pay tribute to all the things that our students have accomplished. What you've seen on the stage here is academic excellence and philanthropy and incredible performers and singers and athletes at the state level recognize, recognize that there's almost 950,000 students in Maryland in public school. So when you have a state level competing child, that's incredibly exceptional. Several of these people are truly one in a million. So it's incredible, it's impressive but they didn't get here by themselves. They got here because their coaches truly cared about them. They got here because their sponsors spent hours and endless nights with them. They got here because their teachers worked with them in the classroom. They got here because administrators and principals were there. They got here because content supervisors coordinated incredible events on Saturdays. All of these people worked to help our children achieve the wonderful things that they did. But who helped them the most? Who helped you the most? Your parents did. Please, please give a round of applause for your parents. You all looked quite comfortable up here on stage. Get used to it. You're going to be here again and again. Your future is so bright. So may tonight be a taste of great things that our kids will accomplish. Savor it tonight. Wake up hungry for more tomorrow morning. Let me conclude our, my remarks. We'll go and I'll have dinner. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.